Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Sephora VIB haul for you. I'll also be putting on um, everything I bought. Well, most of the things. Um, so the first thing I bought was the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I am so excited about this. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. I've already used it. The look came out really pretty. Um, today I'm going to work, so I'm probably not going to do like a dramatic look, but I will play with it. But let me just go uh, introduce the products as I put them on. Um, I showed this in a video prior, but this is kind of new too. It's the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. I actually really love this. Uh, I was going to buy another color, just because sometimes this is a little light, um, but... I don't think it's on the Sephora website yet, so I thought I would wait. This concealer is awesome. I have dry and like textured under eyes. Not so much uh, wrinkles or fine lines. Um, I have like one like kind of large one just because of the shape of my eye. But this never looks dry, and it's it's really smoothing as well, so. And it lasts all day. I don't find that it fades. But it's not full coverage, it's medium coverage. It's got like a thin water-like consistency, but it's also kind of tacky too. I really like this concealer. The next thing I bought is the Hourglass Veil Powder. I have not used this yet, so let's see. This small one doesn't come with that like nice hole that I guess like puts powder in. I don't know. Do not shake it. Spilled everywhere. I use uh, currently to set my under eyes. Um, sometimes the hourglass diffused light powder, but I make a mixture of Ben Nye banana powder and this It Cosmetics airbrush and luminizer that was discontinued. I loved that powder so much. So I mix the two and it makes a really pretty like sheer um, shimmery powder and I'm hoping that this is like a good replacement. that um, the powder that I mix never makes my skin look dry. And this is not making my skin look dry at all. It's really nice so far. I like it. So I have been kind of um, late to review my Jeffree Star concealer video. I haven't, as of this filming time right now, I haven't uh, edited it yet, but that was because I um, kind of like fostered two kittens and I wish I would have shown them to you guys when I had them. Maybe I'll post like some, like a little small video clip uh, of the videos I took of them, but they were so cute. Uh, my aunt um, is going to take over. They are three weeks old. I work too much and they need more care but I I had them for a week and they were doing so well they were um, they had pooped <laughs> um, I still had to stimulate them in order for them to go um, to like pee and stuff and then uh, we I was feeding them by the bottle they were so cute and I miss them now they were always meowing though I got the Hourglass Diffused, I'm sorry, the Hourglass Luminous Light Bronzer. I was trying to decide between this one and the Radiant Light, but I got this one. I like it, but I think this has like a pinky tone to it. And I was using my Makeup Forever 25 Eye. Pro Bronze Fusion, which has kind of a more orangey, but copper kind of tone. I really miss that one. But the pan is so hard and pressed, 
it's like when I'm running or when I'm rushing, I can't just like take it, put it on and like be done. It takes forever to like get it on the brush. Next thing is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I have only ever tried the, no, I've tried a couple of them, but I've never tried any of these colors and I heard great things about um, dim light and radiant, but I'm just gonna swirl my brush in all of the colors. And I don't wear foundation, but I like for my skin to have like a blurring effect. This, these powders make my face look so airbrushed. Okay. Um, and before I show the Natasha Denona palette, I also got these Moon Juice Super U Daily Stress Management like capsules, pills. I saw um, Abby Bliss White. She was recommending a bunch of like lifestyle supplements from Sephora. And I thought that this would be cool to try stress while I'm at work. Um, we'll see. I took two today for the first time, so. Then, I got the Natasha Denona mini palettes. So first, okay, I had bought everything, like everything that I just showed you the first go around, including these two. And I loved these. So I'm not so crazy about this color, but I love this one. And these are nice, but I mean, everybody kind of has like a gold and a neutral. The thing I love about her formula is most of her like shimmer metallic shades are unlike any that I've tried. And I'm not even really into eyeshadow, but when I like, when I saw these, I thought, well, this is cute. I originally wanted to get the uh, Anastasia Riviera palette, but I swatched them against my skin tone and I just don't know that m m like some of the colors would work. And I figured, you know, like these are, if I buy these together, they're not like, too expensive but these were like $25 each and I love this mini star palette I adore this thing um, I love this color it's like a that it's very similar I think to like max blue brown or a red brown or something like that pigment um, this color is a beautiful like rosy shimmer and then this one is like ugh, I love it it's like a yellowy olive these are beautiful and I did a look with these the first time and it was just beautiful and I was like I, I'm I'm still torn um, whether I should get the big star palette but I figure like this is a really good like I have most of the colors to the left of the palette and then I saw some swatches online um, of the berry shades to the right of the palette and very similar to these two colors so I was like you know what I kind of have everything here from that big star palette let me just get this bad boy <laughs> when I saw this <clears throat> when I saw this in store oh my gosh it was I, I couldn't stop looking at it so I came back the next day to buy this because I loved the other one so much I, I thought like well let me try those out first I might not even like like her formula I heard that some of her mattes were hard to work with or something but so far everything that I've tried in this palette has been great and I've used all of these neutrals this one this neutral here and this shade this shade this shade I've used like all of them I don't even know what I'm gonna do today so I'm just gonna go in all over my crease with the mustard shade I think it's called Dijon and I'm gonna make this look kind of neutral today 
The only thing that I don't like I think this mirror still has something on it, but I can't like lift it up yet because it's so, it's so blurry. There has to be something on it still. I don't wanna break it. Anyway, I have a big mirror here. I also bought the Olaplex number three. It's in my bathroom and I did not do my hair to whenever I did it. I think it was yesterday I washed it and put it in. I like the texture of it. It doesn't weigh my hair down. I um, and it doesn't make it oily and it's not hard. I, I actually really like the number three um, leave-in treatment. But we'll see how it does. Actually, and my hair dried really fast when I after I put that in. I really want to try this light shade, but I want to put a color underneath it, and I think I'm going to go in with this color at the bottom. What is it called? Alchemist. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. Very lightly, because I don't want it to be too colorful. And I'm gonna put it a little higher, like almost to the crease, but I don't know if you can see that. I also really like the Sunset palette, but I felt that those shades were less unique than the golds you get in here. I don't know, these, these golds were just so beautiful to me. But I'll probably be buying more from her too in the future. I don't even wear eyeshadow that much, but I've been so inspired by her eyeshadows. So. And I remember a long, I mean, when I was in high school and undergrad, I used to play with eyeshadows all the time. And then I think I decluttered and got rid of a lot of them. I'm now going in with Sparks, and I'm just going to put that... I, I'm just gonna see what it does. Oh yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. So I'm putting sparks like, not in the middle, but like sort of here, like the front half here. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna take it all the way in, but no, I'm just gonna put it like a pop right there. is yellow and I know I probably have so many eyebrow shades but I'm just gonna go in with one of the colors before I do that I'm gonna go in with this um, like clay shade at the bottom called teak with my finger underneath my eye oh I love this shade it looks dark in the camera, but it's not that dark in person. take a lighter shade the top one called aria underneath too just to kind of like make it softer and i'm adding like whatever's left on my finger to the outer corners but not much to deepen it So now I'm gonna go in with um, probably a few of the browns just for my eyebrows.
Anastasia Brow Gel, MAC Giga Black, Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. The one thing I do notice is a lot of fallout. I don't really, I mean, I guess not, sometimes that wouldn't irritate me, but I don't really care right now. If I did not want that to happen, I would like take precautions to make sure I was careful or did my eyes first, but right now it doesn't bother me. So that's the look. I will take you guys in the my messy house. So this is the finished look. I don't think my makeup look or my face looks this shiny, but there's a lot of uh, sunshine coming through. But I'm loving these eyeshadows. They are beautiful. And I can't wait to play with the blues and make it more grungy. I'm this is like really the first time I'm wearing eyeshadow to work, so I'm going to test it out and then little by little go more grungy. Grungier. All right, so that's it. That's my haul. Um, I didn't show the Olaplex number three, but I did buy that, and I really like it. So if any of you were concerned that it was going to make your hair sticky or hard um, or just gross, it feels like I have nothing in my hair, um, except my hair is not as frizzy. So I hope you enjoyed my haul. I will be back with more looks. I want to do um, like a series of them to try to get the most out of my palette. Anyway, see you guys soon.